using this because my roommates are asleep and I'm like a total night owl so I don't want to like be like screaming just throughout my room so I have this to you know talk to you super clearly without talking so like super loud hey um so I have not bought vinyl wax in well over a year and uh, I was just cruising through Instagram as I typically do most of my life this is really bothering me this thing here anyways sorry off track and um jennifer kept posting about this vendor that goes by the name of destination wax and i was like i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm not gonna do it i'm gonna do it so i caved in and i bought me a little something something um i got the custom box which is 15 ounces which is 20 bucks and it's it comes with uh 10 um cups and some samplers so or samples rather and uh i think you're in for a treat because i know i am so uh let's jump right on into our first sample Lego. so um first we have here um let's do let's do this one first um Blackberry jam and shortbread cookies. So, I think I wrote down the scent notes for these, the ones that didn't have them on the, uh, yeah, I couldn't really just figure out myself. So, this one is, um, buttery shortbread cookies filled with rich, sweet blackberry jam. So, let's open it up here. Mm. How do you open it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. So, that's what it looks like. And I do believe these here are called the mini cakes. So, um, yeah. Hmm, okay. You definitely get the blackberry jam. It's like that sweet syrupy black uh, blackberry. Now, I don't typically do bakery scents, but this smells really good. Hmm. That's really good. I like that. I actually do like that. That's really nice. And the whole theme or concept is like each scent is supposed to like take you somewhere. Hence destination. So I love a good concept, so I'm all for it. Next we have Oh, this is cool. Mirror of the Witch. <laughs> yeah, Mirror of the Witch. And the scent description for this one is cotton candy, orange, and strawberry. So right up my alley. Oh, pretty. It's like orange and pink. It's really pretty. Mm. Mm-hmm. Almost like a, it smells almost like a, a rainbow sherbet. You definitely get the orange and the strawberry. The cotton candy is not too heavy in this, but you do get like a um a candy like sweetness, but it's not heavy. But I mainly get the fruit notes, the orange and strawberry. That's good. I like that. You're cute. You're really good. I like you. I'm mean, gonna buy some more of you little witch you <laughs> uh next we have let's do this one port royal i'm assuming it's actual place i don't know for sure don't quote me on that um so port royal is smoky red birch sweet tobacco grapefruit lemon cinnamon and rum oh that's pretty look at like the little design on it that's Pretty. It's like a lavender purple. Or is that a gray? Purple with white wax on the bottom. Oh, this is. Ooh. Ooh. Now, you all know, maybe, that I love very, like, unique and, like, off the radar kind of scents. Oh, this is totally, like, a really unique blend. You really do get like that smoked birch and that cinnamon. 
with together is phenomenal for my money right now. Mm-hmm. You do get a little bit of the tobacco. It's kind of in the it's kind of in the background though. It's not really the forefront scent. Mm. I don't get much of the grapefruit or the lemon, right? Grapefruit, lemon, yeah. I mainly get the birch, a bit of the tobacco, the cinnamon, and the rum. The rum gives it a, a really nice, smooth sweetness. This is really amazing. I need more of this in my life. Yeah, that's good. That's some good stuff. That's some good stuff. So, love that. Definitely love that. That's really good. Wow. And the last one we have in the sample is the Cape Cod Coast. Hello. Stay still. <laughs> so. That's cute. Love that color, too. Very nice. Cape Cod Coast consists of salty air, crashing waves, myrtle leaves. What's the myrtle leaf? Um, first cedarwood and marine algae. Mm. It's like a, um, it's like a really sweet, like a, like a sweet, fresh water scent. Oh, it's not cologne though. Not to me. But I believe this is based off of a cologne if I'm not mistaken oh I like that very oceanic very sweet oceanic scent scent what was it? scent what was, what was I trying to say oh god a very sweet oceanic scent that's good I like that now for the ones I actually ordered let's see here I got a few good things I think so we're going to start with whatever I pick up first here. Let's see. Let's do um, let's do this one. Um, Tayberry and Teak, which reads. Let's see here. I wrote it down somewhere. Um, teakwood mixed with sweet tayberries, blackberries, and cloudberries. What is a cloudberry? Let's see here. Pretty green color. And these are those these are the shot cups. The scent shot cups. Yes. Ooh, that's invigorating. <laughs> oh wow. Ooh. Mm. Very earthy and deep. It's very woodsy too. It's like a really sweet berry woodsy scent. The teak, the teak wood is definitely the forefront scent you know, in this. I get a red berry, which I'm going to assume is the tay berry. I'm not sure what that looks like or what it is, but there's like a tart red berry in this. The blackberry is definitely in this too. It's not heavy, but you can definitely pick it up. And whatever a cloud berry is, it's in here. It's almost, it gives almost like this mintiness on, in a way. I'm getting like this like really cool effect. Interesting. That's really, really interesting. Very wintry. Or fall, I think. Next we have, ooh, mango black tea. Pretty obvious in this mango and black tea, right? I love a good tea scent. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I was. <laughs> I got too caught up in this. Oh, you definitely get like that. That fresh brewed black tea. And you get a good tropical mango blended in there. It's really fresh. Very good blending with the tea and the mango. But the black tea is definitely the forefront scent. That's good stuff. That's really good stuff. Next we have, let's see here. Let's do mango raspberry gelato. Uh, 
Okay, I think this is um mango raspberry lemon. Oh my god. Oh, can I eat this? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's really good. You literally get every single one of these scents. You get the sweet tropical mango. You definitely get the raspberry, like a like a sweet, like a sugary raspberry. You definitely get the lemon. Almost like a, um, like a lemon sorbet in a way. That's good. That's really good. I need more of that for sure. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um. Next we have oh a staple, cucumber mint. It should be what smells like, right? Let's see. Yup. Cucumbers and mint. Mm -hmm. Very crisp, but very fresh and very breezy. Mm -hmm. Very minty. Mm -hmm. And you get that sweet cucumber. That's really good. A very like spring, summer staple scent. I love it. Absolutely love it. Next we have blackberry fruit punch. So this should be really strong and very fruity and sugary sweet, which I love. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's really good. Really heavy on the fruit punch. And the blackberry gives it a really good, a really good depth, like an earthy, sweet depth of berry. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. It's almost similar to, um, I know this. Yankees Lush Berries. Mm -hmm. Almost. And this is good. That's really good. Yeah. Oh, and it's purple. Yeah. That smells amazing. That's amazing. That is freaking amazing. Next, we have uh, Raspberry Sangria. I think the scents were like raspberry, citrus, and sangria. Oh my god. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very citrusy. I like that. Like a sweet citrus raspberry blend. Mm -hmm. And you get that you get that sweet syrupy sangria note. Mm. It's really good and sweet. Mmm. Super fruity, super spring, very summery, vibrant scent. I love that. That is, I love everything right now, don't I? <laughs> I love them all. Um, next, let's do the Juniper Walk, which is um, evergreen juniper and fresh, sweet mountain air. Now, I'm kind of picky on like foresty tree scents. So let's see how I like this one, shall we? Oh, pretty color. Like a baby tail of some sort. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Mm. This is a really good fall and winter scent. Mm. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Ooh. It almost reminds you of this like going hiking. On like a mountain it's like and it's kind of chilly outside with like a really good wind breezy -ness gust coming through and you just take in like the forest like the evergreen the juniper mm, that's amazing oh my god add this to my fall to, to my fall list absolutely um, we got, we got, we got, we got three more. Let's do this one. Apple Whiskey Smash. Which is, uh, let's see. Like, I thought I, I, I could remember. Uh, peak, no, peat smoked whiskey blended with fresh Macintosh and Granny Smith apples. I love anything apples. Anything apples. And whiskey. Ooh. Ooh. This is fall AF, <laughs> for sure. Oh my God. Mm. Not one scent overrides another. 
you get that whiskey, you get those apples. She did a really good job at blending the green apple and the Macintosh apple together because you can you can really get both together. You know what I'm trying to say? But you can definitely point out which one is what. But you can definitely smell them together. Oh my God, it's so good. Mm, and that whiskey note gives it a good, a, a sweet kick. It's not boozy at all. It's just a very unique fall scent. This is this is gonna be a real, this, mm -hmm, yeah. Fall list <laughs> also. Um, what's next? We got two more guys. All right. Um, apricot black tea. I told you I love anything with tea. Anything with tea. So let's give it a smell. Oh my god. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. It smells like fresh cut apricots and black tea. Literally. This is yeah, that's amazing. Mm, very f like a fruity apricot black tea. That's good. I need more of this by itself. And the last one, French green tea. Let's see. Pretty color. Wax it. Oh my god. Very reminiscent of um. D.W. Holmes Green Tea Leaves Candle, which I love. Mm. It's not overly sweet. It's a very pretty, fresh green tea scent. Mm. Mm -hmm. You really do get like that, like that, almost like a fresh ground green tea leaf. Oh, the sit notes. Sorry, I have them here. Um. A fresh blend of white flowers, bitter orange, and um, lemon zest, and green tea leaves. I don't get a floral note in it at all. I just get the green tea leaves, a little bit of that of that orange, a little bit, very very smidgen of it. Mm. You do get a bit of the, of the lemon zest. It gives it, it gives it a good tartness without it being sour. Mm. But that green tea leaf note, to die for. That's amazing. That's really good. Mm. If you just like crushed green tea leaves in your hand, mm -hmm. that's that's good. Very herbally green, fresh tea note. That's amazing. That is amazing. I love all of these. Can I, is that okay to do? So that was my first Destination Wax Hall will not be my last. I can tell you that right now. I might order one today and next week. Just saying, you never know with me. But um, I think this is a good vendor to get me back on Vendor Wax. This will be the only one I actually stick with because I'm not gonna do what I did last time. If you guys remember, I was really Vendor Wax crazy so um with that being said um check out the shop on etsy on etsy.com yeah etsy i put a link down here somewhere click on it check it out she has an amazing scent list i mean it's long and you're bound to find something in there that you love i guarantee it um different ways to order different scents and things so um i'm really excited about this vendor here um, her name is Rebecca, so she's total sweetheart. So check out the shop, and uh, if you happen to get something, let me know what you got. Come on, we gotta, we gotta share the vendor wax love here, okay? Okay. So until next time, guys, I am out of here. I love you all. Take care. Bye.